So there are seven questions on this test. So there are seven events happening. The first question, second question, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh question. And they're multiple choice, each with five possible answers. So there's five ways to answer the first question, five ways to answer the second, five, 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 and five. And so if there's five ways to do the first event, five ways to do the second, five ways to do the third, and so on, you just multiply these all together and you get that big number they're talking about, seven, eight, one, two, five. And there you go. A lot of times you'll see this written as five written out seven times. It's the same thing as five to the seventh. But I don't like going straight to here because I find students get confused. They do weird things. They try to do like seven to the fifth or seven times five or I think when they when you have events and the order of the events matters, the best way to do it is just with these lines. So how many ways are there to do the first event? How many ways are there to do the second? So it would extend into something like, let's say there were seven questions and the first three were true false, right? And the next four were multiple choice with five answers. You could do something like, okay, well, if the first three are true false and you have two ways of answering this question, two ways of answering that one, two ways of answering that one, and then five, 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 and five for these multiple choice ones, and that could give you whatever that is when you multiplied it out. So just super flexible when you use these lines for uh, how many ways there are to do certain events. So don't go straight to that exponential notation. Um, yeah, hope that helps.